morning, it's the 18th of June, 2024. I see it. It's beginning to feel a little bit like summer. I don't want to tempt fate, but it's a beautiful morning. Oh, I get it. I, I get, get jokes. jokes. Talk about jokes, going to talk about today. Dr. David Bull. Bull as in bullshit. Just want to show you this T-shirt though first. Look at that. If you know, you know, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, David Bull, Dr. David Bull, he's the uh, candidate, the reform candidate for West Suffolk. He's also the deputy leader of reform. And they were on TV yesterday talking about their own reform manifesto. They were talking, uh, I thought it was a load of bullocks. Bullocks, as in bull. Benefit will be uh, withdrawn if they're turned down to job offers. So how will people survive? What will they live on? They, well, the, the point is that we need to make work what attractive, don't on? we? Well, the point... I think you're seeing this from a very negative point of view. The fact no, is what, that... I'm asking questions. You've, this is what it says in your Indeed. manifesto. I'm asking you to explain it. I'm saying, if you're going to withdraw people's benefits, what do you expect them to live on? We expect them to take jobs which are and appropriate. And what if they don't? They well, they have grass, to take them, don't they? they? Why should they sit at home and not and not do anything? So what should happen to them? So they I should mean, be having coaches and mentors what, and taken what do you into suggest? work. If they, will they starve themselves to death? Sorry? What, what, of course they won't starve so themselves how, to death. There are plenty from? of jobs in this country. We know, as I said, 9 million people who are economically inactive. And we have to actually get to the root cause. Mm. Because the problem is, if we allow people just to sit at home and give them benefits, then actually it does nothing for self-worth, does it? I ask the questions. And my question is, what will you do? What will people survive on if they don't take jobs? You're saying you'll, you'll withdraw their benefits. So what's going to happen? We will make sure that there is, a, uh, there is a very clear system to help people into work. And that has not been happening uh, at the moment. And the tax breaks that people will be given are a huge part of that. Yeah. Just because I, don't, I ask you questions doesn't mean I'm being yeah. negative. There's 9 million uh, people in this country economically inactive. Get a fucking job. You know what I mean? That don't mean there's nine million people looking for work. That includes the sick, the disabled, etc. Pensioners, they don't fucking benefits now. Classing pensioners a benefit. I'm a fucking benefit. I'm on benefits. And in June 2023, there were 2.3 million people claiming universal credit who are actually employed. Uh, I've got to put glasses on. They still think bashing the poor society will win them votes. He calls himself a doctor. He's not on fucking register. He's not on a GP's register. And he sells, allegedly sells HIV testing. HIV testing kits that are actually free on the NHS. Uh, and when he said this on, on telly yesterday, Richard Tice, he, uh, he said, Quite right. If you if you if you can work, you should work. There's no such thing as a fucking free lunch. Except for MPs that is who claim their fucking lunches and the food on expenses. No such thing as a fucking free lunch, says the man who inherited millions from his fucking daddy's business. It's nonsense though. The number of long term unemployed who are fit for work is fucking minimal. It's tiny, in fact. He's gone for a megaphone. Oh. I'm going to leave you with a bit of food for thought. You have more in common with every homeless person than with any multimillionaire. And the majority of us have more chance of being homeless than being a multimillionaire. Wakey, wakey. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine. Don't be alarmed as they say. <laughs>